Hello folks and welcome to the beautiful fishing village we call Monte Carlo. Uh, we are genuinely in Monaco, you can't see, but behind you is all boats <laughs> and beautiful sunny skies. Um, probably a giveaway that it is so cramped here in the paddock mm. and we stand in front of McLaren's very brand new hospitality unit. But that's not the news, is it, Lawrence? No, the news is Lando Norris has signed a multi-year deal to stay with McLaren until at least the end of 2023. At a time like this, this early in the season and for that length of contract, I think it's significant. It is. Why have they chosen to done, do so so early? I think it's his consistency, really. They want to tie him up for the long term because he's delivered the goods for them on a consistent basis. He's had that run of points towards the end of last year. He's scored every race this year and he got that amazing podium. He, like, like you were saying earlier, Will, he was third in the Drivers' Championship up, up until the last race. He's performing arguably better than most people on the grid. Yeah, he's had a sensational start to the season. He's had a brilliant Formula One career to date. And of course, he's been with McLaren for such a long time. Zach Brown, known to be a huge fan of Lando's, going way back from when he was in junior formulas. Zach wasn't going to let him go, was he? No, and I think that's quite, it's quite nice that they've been able to kind of pull him through the career themselves, just in a sort of similar way that they did with Lewis. And Lando is kind of delivering on, a, on a, such a high level that with so many other teams potentially wanting to, to take his services in the future, this is sending out a signal that Lando's ours, guys. Well, here's the thing, isn't it? Because a lot of focus, a lot of attention, obviously, on Mercedes mm -hmm. and their future and the question marks over who might their future drivers be, should either Lewis or Valtteri or potentially both end up leaving that team. And I know Mercedes have said they want to shore up a new deal with Lewis before the summer break. Lando, there were slight ruminations, whispers that perhaps Mercedes might have been looking at him. I think with the form that he was displaying and the ruthless consistency that he was showing, why wouldn't anyone want to look at Lando uh, in, a, in a driver coming into a, in a really top team? Trouble for Lando is McLaren are doing really well at yeah. the minute. They've backed him from the beginning. Why does he really want to go anywhere else? Could this be McLaren wanting to put a stamp on Lando and saying if anybody wants to come after him well you're now going to have to break him out of a long-term contract and pay us for it are they really sort of securing that for themselves rather than letting him go as a free agent or is it just as simple we always like to look too much at <laughs> is it just as simple as Lando McLaren great relationship simple continuation of a great relationship with a new found uh, sort of strength of engine partner in Mercedes all that stands in front of them potentially going into this new uh, generation of regulations in 22. I think it's a mix of both to be honest where you've kind of hit the nail on both heads there he he was performing so strongly this year they probably wanted to reward him in some sense of words and the rest of the season they can really build that confidence in him and that might actually be the thing that really kicks on this year. I do think there will be an element of guys hands off to everyone else because you know we want this guy, we've brought him through, we're not going to let him go. But also he gets on well with Daniel at the moment, he's really stepped up this year I think since Carlos left, really stepped into that kind of team leader role as Daniel's struggling a little bit to settle in. And I think all of those factors have combined to McLaren saying look guys we're going to do this, why don't you just do it now? People will ask the question, is the team solely <laughs> focused on Lando, the golf announcement earlier this week only had Lando in it. There's been a lot of comments about that, particularly in the online community. The new deal today for Lando's uh, renewed and lengthened uh, deal with the team. Patricio Award being tested at the end of the season for McLaren's F1 team, their IndyCar driver who won at Texas with Zach Brown saying it's not just for fun. It's seriously weighing up his abilities for a potential future with the team. Does Daniel have the right to feel Worried? I don't think so. I think Daniel's been around the block long enough to know that he doesn't need to panic yet and he knows he's going to get on top of the problems that he's having. He's kind of gone to each new team. It's taken him a bit of time to build in. Of course, whenever someone alongside you signs a mega deal like that, especially when you've come in as the guy, like people were very excited when Daniel joined, that might kind of put him on the back foot a little bit. But he, like I said, he's grown up enough and I think to have two drivers performing at such a high level is going to be both good for both of them. This is though more than a simple continuation. It is the first piece in the driver market puzzle for mm. 2022 and beyond. Everything really starts from here because one of the biggest players in the game has either been taken out of the game mm -hmm. or had such a massive figure put on a breakout clause 
that really the thought of him moving anywhere right now is pretty unimaginable. It's a smart bit of business for McLaren because the, the stability they've got now, they, they're not going to get bothered about all of the driving market chat that, That's like it. you just said, is going to accelerate now through the season. Guys are going to want to do deals early. Like you said earlier, Lewis Hamilton wants to do his deal early, especially we've talking about a salary cap coming in as well yeah. at some point. They're all going to want to get these deals done and dusted as soon as possible. So I think for these guys, it signals their intent as a world championship team to hopefully fighting back for the world champions again. In the press release, Lando said he wants to win races and be world, and champion, be world champion with McLaren. You yeah. know, and I think that's, that really tells you where these guys are going at yeah. the moment. Absolutely. So that's it, Lando Norris with McLaren until 2023, at least 2023. Uh, that's the news just breaking here in Monaco. It's going to be a great weekend here on the Riviera. From Lawrence and myself, though, for now, that's it.